Hello everybody, how are you doing Trent here? And welcome to the town of Stonewall. Now, if you guys don't know what Stonewall is, you should be ashamed. No, I'm just joking. But, if you don't know what Stonewall is, it is a town that me, Dakota, and RJ are building on um, Dakota's channel exclusively because this is his server he's running all of this on. Um, so I'm, I'm letting him, well, I'm not really letting him, I want him to do this, um, have it on his channel exclusively. I'm just gonna give a tour and the updates on it. I'm not gonna do a whole series on it or anything because obviously it's a little late to do it. Um, but yeah, he has this whole thing. Um, he has a lot of it. He has most of the recordings. He's got already three episodes up already. He's, he's really awesome. Go check him out. Go give him... Hit, hit that subscribe button on his channel and you don't... You won't... You won't be disappointed. So... First off, let me talk while I'm ta while I'm walking up to my house. I'm gonna talk to you guys about um, no scoop gaming glasses now. This um this is a promotion be um, promotional thing because obviously I'm spo I'm you probably blah, 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 you guys probably don't know, but I'm sponsored by them. I'm actually sponsored by no scoop gaming glasses. And what they are, are um, they are a cheaper alternative to um, gunners. If you don't know what gunners are, but um. Yeah, gunners are just like this. They're the same thing as no scope gaming glasses, but um, no scope gaming glasses are cheaper, and I think they're better. But I can't really say that because I've never used gunners. But um, yeah. So right now, for uh, nineteen dollars, you can actually get a pair of glasses. It's actually a sale going on. It's usually thirty dollars, twenty nine ninety nine. That was nineteen ninety nine. Click that link in the description to use my affiliate link. It really helps me out, guys. But let's get back to the video. Alrighty, so um, here's my house. Um, I'm actually using this Fax uh, texture pack, um, which is really nice. It was recommended by RJ, and it's just I love it. I used to use John Smith, and on Dakota's channel you'll see um, a lot of the recording on John Smith. But lately we've been using um, Fax. So I'm gonna come up here to show you the back of my house. Um, so we chose this like um, really, really big area to make our uh, places at. And I, I really like it, and you'll, you'll uh, on the third episode, you see where we find it, what it looks like before all these buildings are here, so it's really cool to see what it looks like now, so. If you want to watch the whole thing and not want to see any spoilers, why am I getting a little bit of lag spike here? That sucks. But yeah, this is my house, um, and I'm not going to go inside every single building, I'm just going to show you the outside and everything and who it was built by. So this is built by me, um, you can obviously see my, um my what's it called my farm which is not cur it's currently not being I mean, nothing's growing in there so yes that's my house I'm gonna go over to Dakota's house the server owner um, so yeah this is his house he has a little cactus farm out here um, which is pretty cool pretty good a little circular cactuses cacti um, from the texture why am I getting lag spikes it sucks my frame rate's dropping like every so so many times so yeah, this is his house. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really nice actually. I really like it. Um, I didn't really like it then um, when we judge the houses, which you'll see. I don't know if we. You'll see it in like the probably like the eighth, not the eighth, like the sixth or seventh episode. But yeah, you'll see it then. So yeah, that's his house. It's really nice. Um, really nice stuff. Um, this is Dakota's um, brew brewery slash pub. Really nice, really nice place. Not done yet. Um, not open at least. Um, yeah. So we have little shops on here, um, where we just be. It's basically like nostalgia because on on um where this where this town idea came from is pretty basic idea though. It's not like we any we couldn't have come up with it anyway. Um, on our old Minecraft server on the Xbox 360, actually we I'm gonna go sleep in Dakota's house while I tell you about this. We actually made a town call. We actually had previous towns, but we did make a town called Torchwood, which was a really big town. We had a lot of our friends on there. And we, we made a huge town, and it was really awesome and stuff. But eventually, I went to PC to play Counter-Strike and things like that. And, yeah, I basically just left eventually after playing for about a year on that. And it was really, it was just so good. And when RJ and Dakota and De uh, got Minecraft for the PC, and they got a PC and everything, they both did. And Dakota said he would, uh... He would, um, get a, get a surfer. He's, we were like, alright, let's just do another town. And it's, it's gonna be more soon, more of us, but right now it's just us three. But yeah, so here's Dakota's Dye Shop. Um, <clears throat> curious name. Pretty curious about the name, but uh, yeah, so here's the uh, blood. There's some stuff. I don't know why I'm in here. I'm not really showing the inside. It's gonna be a long video. Um, here's a fountain that I built. Um, it's a fountain. Built it in like 
10 minutes. Um, yeah, I'm getting frame rate dropped. That might have fixed it. I'm not too sure. If it happens again, it's fine. But yeah, this is RJ's um villager hotel, which is I I don't know what's what his plan is for that. But um yeah, I don't know what his plan is for that. I'm just gonna Yeah, that's my sword, right? Alright, yeah. So yeah, I don't know what his plan is for that, but it's really cool. I really like the design of it. It's really nice. Um yeah, the outside of it. I forgot what building it is, but there's a building that looks kind of like this, um, in a movie, but I forgot what it was, and, uh, yeah, this is built by RJ, um, I'm gonna show his house next, which is over here, I'm just gonna run and jump over there, which I have no food, I guess. Alright, I'm just eating food real quick. <laughs> Alright, let's run and jump over there, and then we're gonna come up and then down and across and there's gonna be some cutting in here because obviously it's gonna be pretty long unless I don't see the cutting is needed so this is RJ's house it's pretty it's not a basic house it's really nice um you won't this isn't actually really small it looks like but um, I'm actually gonna take you somewhere where you really don't see underground it's a lot of it's an underground house which is really really nice sorry I'm going away from the mic there but yeah, it's really nice. It's a, a lot of it's like a little underground house, or big underground house, I should say, because it's huge down there. It's really nice. He likes to do those kind of houses and stuff like that. Um, yep, this is a horse stables. We we all used to, we have all had horses once, but um, some things have happened. And R.I.P. I could say. And my horse is the longest living horse, by the way. Uh, go, Mr. Horse. Uh, all right, that's if you see that line in the background. Right there, that's uh, that's dirt and stuff. That's it's something. I don't know what it is. This is RJ's um redstone shop where he sells redstone things, and this is like the type of stuff he would sell. At the coast house, there's actually a daytime sensor type thing where it detects the nighttime and um redstone lamps come on. So now I'm not gonna go up. I'm gonna do that last. And that's where we end the video. So now we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you off the blacksmith, which has been attacked by creepers many times, as you can tell. And by fire, which I fixed. And you can tell by here. So, walking down the path, you'll see a blacksmith. And uh, this used to be a lot better, but a lot of things have happened. Um, it's just, so many things have happened, like creepers, and just, like, it sucks. I, I can't explain it. But, um, yes, here is, um, this is the mushroom thing. Now, this looks a lot better in uh, John Smith and, uh, what's it called? And it's facts, I'm, the one I'm using. Um, but yeah, oopsie, sorry, I didn't mean to show you my inventory, but you can, yeah, look at all this crap I have in my, um, but yeah, this obviously, obviously looks better, like, in the regular mod packs, or mod packs, yeah, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is my golden armor that I enchanted, uh, I'm just gonna come in here real quick, because I want you to show you in here, it's one of my favorite buildings I've built. Really nice mushrooms in there, of course, you guys probably don't know what that means, but, yeah, so let's, let's switch to move on. Um, to the Church of Mushroomism. If we go inside, you will see that there's a book here. The uh, Moosh Crew. I'm actually going to pull this out for you guys so you can actually take a look at it. I'm going to come off here so you can look on that. So here you go. You can pause if you want to read. Now, it is a little messed up, as you can see. Um, it doesn't show the first one. But yeah. There you go. I actually wrote that really quickly. So moving on to the next building. Yes, I, I, this is like, um, the blacksmith and this was not my design. The next, next one is the Stonewall Prison, which the sign is gone for some reason. I keep forgetting to change it. I see outside here, right where I'm looking at right now, the fenced off area. Um, it's been used already many to, uh, quite a lot. Um, in the Torchwood ser in the Torchwood, uh, server, um, the jail was used so many times. And so many things happened there. So next is the courthouse, um, oh yeah, the jail, the church, and the blacksmith were all built by me, just saying. So this next building was built by me and Dakota, M mainly Dakota, he did the outside, the, um, not the outside, the whole, um, area, area of it, you could say, I don't know, like the whole, like, the structure of it, and I did the windows and stuff like that in the indoor, in the inside decorating and things like that but he had a little help with he had help with it too obviously you can tell by the mushrooms 
Um, if you wanna know why I'm obsessed with mushrooms? Uh, because, uh, I don't know why. But I am. How, how, how do you feel? Um, this is one of my f most favorite buildings I've built. This is one of the most recent uh, buildings. It's the library. Um, yeah, it's the library. It's very, it's really, it's very simple design. I didn't, I didn't take it from anybody. This is my own design. So you come in here. I'm just gonna show it off because I really love it. I'm kind of biased towards my own builds, obviously. Um, so you come in here. There's three textures. I love the three textures. Boom, boom, boom. And yes. I love it. It's really nice. I really like the building, except, uh, not except, but especially the roofs, as you can see, like, ooh, connects all the way around. It took me so long to do that, I kept trying to me I kept messing it up, and yeah. So now, let's go all the way up to the town hall to end the video, because um, I just want to get something out to you guys and um, tell you that I'm going to be doing a little bit more YouTube, because obviously it's summer. You guys know this. So yes, let's go up there. Here's my little thing. The 3D textures kind of ruin my uh, little my little uh, wood stack there because you can see the like little bars coming down, little support beams from the um, track things. So if we come up here, this is the town hall. I'm gonna be ending the video. So yes, guys, make sure to check out the link below to um, No Scope Gaming Glasses. They're really awesome guys. Really check them out. I'm serious. They're, they'll do you a lot of um, good things for your eyes if you get headaches while playing video games. Um, but yes, guys. Um, so check out Dakota's channel in the description. Check out uh, Stonewall series that he's doing on his channel. Check out some other videos on his channel. Check out my channel. And yes, subscribe to Dakota. Subscribe to me. And have a nice day. Bye!